OK, Bluey, I promise not to start until you're ready. And I promise I'll be ready when you start. There isn't a limit to the stories Bluey can tell. The series doesn't allow the sky to be the limit, as acclaimed episodes like Sleepy Time take Bingo into space as she processes her deepest fears and insecurities in her dreams. Although every episode takes place during the daily lives of the Healer family and their friends, the use of imagination and play ensures that Bluey and Bingo can go anywhere, do anything, and be whoever they want to be. With three seasons of beloved episodes, there's no telling where the series will go next. However, since many stories take inspiration from the writers' experiences with their own families, every scenario will come from heartfelt places. In today's video, we're discussing potential ideas for future Bluey episodes. Go. I mean, it's a go! Number 1. New Siblings A universal concept yet to be explored by Bluey is the introduction between siblings. So far, the only characters with siblings have already met or are close in age. When the series begins, Bluey and Bingo already live together and have a good relationship. Likewise, Muffin, Lucky, and Coco all have siblings. They have pre-developed friendships and dynamics with. While Bluey and Bingo occasionally find themselves in disagreements, they've passed the stage of learning to live comfortably with one another. It's common for only children to struggle when introduced to a younger sibling. Conflicts may arise due to routine changes, shared attention, and jealousy. While not every child is the same and may not experience all these struggles, they're familiar and relatable enough that introducing a new baby into the family would make for a great episode. The closest Bluey comes to mentioning a new sibling is in the episode Early Baby, when Indy explains what a premature baby is and what they need to stay healthy, insinuating that someone in her family recently had a child. There are a few ways that the series could approach this concept. It's a popular fan theory that Bluey and Bingo will have another sibling in future seasons. But there's very little evidence supporting this. If the series doesn't want to give the sisters another sibling, they could have a cousin from Stripe and Trixie, so Muffin and Socks can show what it's like to have a baby in their home. Additionally, some episodes focus on side characters, and one such episode could show one of Bluey's friends becoming a big brother or sister. It's also possible to have a flashback episode showing how Bluey reacted and adapted to Bingo coming home from the hospital. She likely loved Bingo from the moment they met, but even those with the best intentions can find complications with a significant life change. No, Bluey! Because Polly's an early baby, she needs to stay in the hospital for a long time. Number 2. Work Trips a popular activity for working parents is to take their children to work. Taking your children to work day isn't something that can happen every day in most workplaces. But in fiction, they allow for fun episodes where children and parents can bond while learning more about each other. Fortunately for Bluey and Bingo, their parents have some of the most fascinating jobs in the series. Bandit works as an archaeologist, and we learn in the episode Curry Quest that he sometimes needs to leave home for up to six weeks. If he took his daughters to work with him, he could show them his discoveries and teach them about historical developments as he does to an audience in the short Archaeology. Chili's job has hints provided in the series, but according to the official Bluey website, she works part-time in airport security. Her job is a clever nod to how real-life dogs are used to sniff out bombs or other unwelcome items within airports. If she took her daughters to work, she could show them airplanes and how she keeps everyone safe. In visiting their parents' workplaces, Bluey and Bingo can learn more about them and may learn that they want to take over their parents' careers. Behold, the only known fossil of the first dog to walk upright. Number 3. Adoption since Bluey tries to have representation for all types of families, it's surprising that adoption hasn't had a more prominent role in the series. Most fans know by now that Bingo's friend Missy is implied to be adopted because her mother, in Pass the Parcel, is a different breed than her. However, Missy's potential past with adoption only appears in the background and isn't commented on constructively or educationally. Fortunately, the series has already set up the potential for an adoption storyline. In the episode Onesies, Chili's older sister visits the healer house to see her family. It's explained that Brandy hasn't seen Bluey or Bingo in a very long time, and it's because she desperately wants children but struggles with infertility. Visiting Chili and watching Watching her raise her daughters was likely too painful for Brandy to experience, but she can still experience motherhood by adopting. In a few episodes, Brandy could adopt, teach Bluey and Bingo about the process, and introduce a new cousin into their family. Hi, girls! Hi! Hey, Brandy! Hi, Chili. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Number 4. Muffin's Daily Life Muffin remains one of the most popular side characters in Bluey because of her outgoing and energetic personality. 
Since she's younger than Bingo, she's still coming out of her toddler stage and learning to interact with others. She's very opinionated and just as playful as her cousins, which makes a one-off episode about her daily life appealing. There are already episodes in the series like Space and Army that don't focus on Bluey and her family and tell more about some of the series' supporting cast. In future seasons, Muffin should receive her version of these episodes. In the episode Facey Talk, we glimpse at Muffin's daily antics. She takes Stripe's phone and races across her home while on a video call with Bluey and Bingo. She hides from her father, runs away when he gets close, and refuses to hang up while chaos ensues around her. Every parent has likely struggled with their child hiding something or running away for a laugh, and if Muffin's episode continued to be equally relatable, then it would be a great success. Back here, Muffin! Run, Muffin! Yeah. Whoa! Okay, there we go. Number 5. Weddings Surprisingly, Bluey hasn't delved into weddings and how memorable they can be. There are episodes where Bluey and Bingo pretend to put on weddings, like in Horsey Ride, but they never attend the actual event. The lack of a wedding episode could be because of Bluey and Bingo's age, as they could struggle to sit through such a long and attention-taking event. However, it's more likely that the healers didn't know anyone looking to get married throughout the series' first three seasons. Fortunately, a newer couple in Bluey may announce their wedding soon. In the episode Double Babysitter, Bandit's older brother Rad meets Bluey's godmother Frisky, when they're both called to babysit the sisters while their parents are away. There's immediate chemistry between Rad and Frisky, so they spend the episode getting to know one another by playing 20 questions, telling stories, and having long conversations. Sometime later, the pair began to date, and in Christmas Swim, they miss the Healer family's Christmas because they're on vacation together. They video call Bluey and Bingo to celebrate the holidays, during which Rad comes to give Frisky a one-armed hug. Their relationship seems to be going well, and wedding bells may be in their future. Ladies and gentlemen, may Sparkles marry Galahop today. Number 6. Bad Dreams Something that children and adults alike deal with daily is nightmares. They can occur without rhyme or reason, and they're not something you can grow out of. An episode about handling nightmares could benefit people of all ages and create a very emotional story. Some of Bluey's popular episodes already delve into the dreams of Bluey and Bingo. In the episode Fruit Bat, Bluey falls asleep after a restless night and imagines she's a fruit bat. Her dream is mostly fun-loving as she follows her imagination, flies through her hometown, and searches for Bandit. Unfortunately, not every dream can be a good one, and in Sleepy Time, Bingo goes on a bittersweet journey through space. Parts of her dream are scary, including feeling isolated and losing her friend. Luckily, the dream allows her a safe way to process some of her fears. And even though it turns into a nightmare, Chili's presence calms her. The episode doesn't have time for Bingo to discuss her nightmares or how to self-soothe when they occur. So, a follow-up episode revisiting the same themes could be benefit her character and the audience. Hey, Dad! Hey, Bluey! You're a fruit bat! Yeah! Bluey continues to make audiences of all ages laugh with its clever writing and tear up with its sincere and relatable moments. The series isn't afraid to delve into complicated topics while simultaneously showing the best parts of childhood and parenthood. Every episode showcases a family trying their best using love, kindness, and patience. There's a reason it remains one of the most popular children's shows, and its life lessons and fun-filled episodes will continue to entertain people for seasons to come. It's about a mean brother who ends up good, and it's got a curse in it, and even a princess. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay up updated on our uploads. Enjoy Daddy Drop-Off! I don't want a Daddy Drop-Off, I want a Mommy Drop-Off. Oh, don't worry.